Hello everyone. This is Ruchi Kaushik from Informatica GCS. Today we are going to learn how to import code values in Reference 360 CES. Agenda for today's topic is import code values in Reference 360 UI, import code values in Reference 360 CES via API, import code values via CDI mapping in Reference 360 CES, Reference 360 CES setup, demo part and the summary. Introduction A code value in Reference 360 CES represents a distinct unique identifier which could be a business term, code or a reference value. These code values are categorized and are grouped into a code list, each code list corresponding to the code values. Each code values consists of a name, attributes and a code attribute. Import of a code uh, value in a Reference 360 can be achieved in a three ways. From Reference 360 UI, from API and from CDI. Prerequisites. Prerequisites for uh, importing code values are CES Reference 360, any REST client and CDI setup. First we'll go how to how we can import the code values from a reference 360 UI. This screen capture will let you know how to import a code values for a particular code list. So whenever you are opening a code list, you will get this option. So from here we can import the code values in that particular code list. Now import via API. To import code values in a, in, into a code list using an API, we need to have uh, a session ID for authentication purpose and the asset ID is important. So asset ID is the particular ID for that particular code list and session ID is, is for your particular user. So this is the post request which we will use here. So the prerequisite for uh, import via API is file, the file which we want to import and the import settings. Import settings will specify the file specific configuration and the container details. This is one example of a post uh, API uh, like importing code list via API. This is ID session ID, content type we are using application uh, slash json import code values code values dot csv this is our uh, settings uh, settings dot json which we will give delimiter is equal to comma here we are giving starting row as null container id here we will give that particular id for that particular code list or we can say a unique id for that particular code list when we will open the our code list uh, from reference 360 UI, we will get this container ID in the URL. So from where we, uh, it, we can pick this container. We can import code values in reference 360 says by the import job also. We can import code values in a reference 360 using a CDI mapping. Here we need to create a mapping between source and target and then we need to load the data. Here we are selecting source as a flat file and in the target, we need to select the object where we want to import our code values. After selecting the target, we need to create a field mapping. Make sure to connect all the relevant fields by dragging and dropping. After creating the mapping, mapping task and task flow, we can import the code values in a Reference 360 UI. When you will go to the Reference 360 UI, you will get the jobs option, the reference data import. You will create the job and after creating the job uh, using a particular task flow, we can run the we will run the job and this is how the uh, data will get load into the target table so these are the three ways via which we can import the code values in the reference 360 ui now the demo part so in the demo part first we'll see how we uh, how we can import the code values in a uh, via reference 360 ui so this is my code list enterprise import code values so after clicking the import option i'm browsing my file so this is my file so i'm selecting this file so code 35 name is code 35 and code is 35 name is code 36 I am importing only two values as of now next so we are getting name mapped with this name field code mapped with this code field clicking on it. next clicking on import 
so we'll get the option like this started import job for import code values your uh, file name is successfully so here enterprise uh, code values it is running once the job is completed we need to refresh the url after refreshing the url we will see both the values are present in that particular code list name code 35 code 35 is here name code 36 and code 36 is present here so we are successfully able to import the code values via reference 360 ui so now we will see how to import code values using api so this is my api post api which i am using so here I, in the form data I have given two things import settings and the file import settings is import.json whereas import file is the file which I am importing for the code values which I am importing here in the header part I have given ID session ID session ID is my uh, session ID is for the authentic authentication purpose content type I have used application.json now I am sending the request so once it is done state it is showing in progress that it is loading the data into that particular code list or it is importing the code values in that particular code list now we'll go to our reference 360 UI and we'll see that code values are imported in that so this is the file which we have imported using API now we'll go uh, to our reference 360 and we'll need to refresh the URL and see that code values are imported there after refreshing the URL we can see code 89 and code 90 is present which we have loaded via API now we'll see how to load data in code values using CDI mapping this is my mapping source and target so here in source I have taken as flat file object is my flat file when import code values dot CSV we will load the data in particular code list only now in target I have selected operation as an import code list in the enterprise code, uh, code values you can see here here connection I am using B360 connector now this is my mapping task which I have created and this is the task flow which I have created now we'll go to reference 360 UI in new section jobs reference data import we'll create a new job here I am creating this job I am selecting my task flow R360 task flow I am selecting after that we will click on save and we will click on run job is started here we will click here and we can see our job is started here we have used name code 71 and code 72 import to uh, get import in a particular code list once the job is completed we'll see those particular code values present in our enterprise import code values code list so here we can see code 71 and code 72 is populated so this is how we can import code values using CDI mapping so here we are done with the demo part summary for today's topic is reference 360 says setup API setup for more knowledge you can refer the below document we would love to hear you from support video at the rate informatica.com https twitter.com and thank you